Hello, welcome aboard Google Cloud again. Just going to set up some things. Let's go over the Google Cloud. So just setting up the project, as you guys already know. Here to open the Cloud Shell. So today we're going to be talking about PubSub and Cloud Functions. By the way, I'm going to give a briefly overview what Cloud Fun uh, PubSub first is. Right now I'm just configuring the, the list project, whatever. PubSub is a messaging and ingestion for event-driven system and streaming analytics. So if you guys already know the open source Kafka, have an idea, PubSub is a competitor. By the way, what, what can you reach with PubSub? In that case, just looking there, I'm just downloading the clone in a, a repository. So with the PubSub, you can reach its scalable things, order messaging, delivery, pull and push. In a pull and push mode, there is the acknowledge process you have to do. There is also auto scaling, auto, pro, auto provisioning with support from zero to hundreds of gigabytes per second. Remember, per second. The, the price is very low, I would say. You can check the GCP pricing calculator. I checked it last time, I discussed it with a friend. It was uh, around like oh, 200 gigabytes monthly, with it would be three dollar, euro or dollar, whatever. Also, one thing very, very good, there is independent quota and billing for publishers, publishers and subscribers. Now, there, by the way, I'm cloning a, my cloud function there. Okay, I'm going to authorize. And, uh, okay, there is an um, app engine application. And also, the PubSub gives you global message routing, simplify the multiple regions. Okay, go ahead with the with my example. Like there is a create an app engine. You guys already know the which is PaaS, YaaS, SaaS platform as a service infrastructure as a service software as a service. So that, that I don't need to go deep on that. So you do you you have to have a bundle out of box for this video. I don't have to explain all the bit. So let's wait it starts. By the way, about so PubSub also I can give more more info like the high availability made simple, a synchronous scroll zone message replication per message receipt tracking ensures reliable delivery at, at any scale. That's very important at any scale. There is a no planning and auto everything. There is auto scaling, auto provisioning with no partitions. Partitions eliminates planning and ensures workloads that are production ready from day one and there are a couple of advanced features with that, that things that would be with that step behind to to really talking about their com new features coming on coming on and um, that's all the future we, we will explain to you guys by the way now you have see the pub sub you had to create a topic there is one person that's going to be writing messages to the top and one person interested in the topics to read me this is my application a node.js application i'm running and uh it says up in gino soul now i'm going to create a function this function is um is same as AWS Lambda, the serverless event driven solution of Amazon. Here is just reading my topics. You can see it's out, it's fully integrated. Again, so it sometimes takes time to refresh those things. If you go there, I'm just refreshing those things. Subscriptions, stops. 
it's very weird sometimes but already we already have a topic that's the case there's a simple hello world application there's the entry point you have the runtime can choose you can see their exports the Amazon is, uh, uh, lambda is the same the same approach so if you know Amazon lambda it's gonna be pretty easy for you processing is gonna be green and fill so the cloud functions instead of saying software as a server you can say fast so function as a services can be called also function depending on the language you're gonna be seeing that you can call it function as a service too You can say that cloud function is a scalable pay, pay as you go pricing, pay as you go functions as a servicing to run your code from zero management. There is a, it's kind of, we call it serverless. You don't have to worry about the infrastructure. Those patches are already done for you. No service to provision, manage or upgrade servers, whatever. You don't have to do any DevOps stuff. It's automatically scaled based on the load, so you don't have to worry about scaling up and down. There is a so integrated monitoring, logging, and debugging capability. Built in security at row per function based on the principle of that there is a less privilege principle key networking capabilities for hybrid and mood cloud scenarios <clears throat> what else can I say about cloud functions if you're not aware like to has a simple and intuitive developer experience just write you have just to write your code and let the provider handle the operational infrastructure for you there you can see we're running the the quiz you're gonna be sending messages to the queue i would say the topic instead of Dankeschön. and the thing that pay only for what you use you're only bidded for the functions executed at the time metered at to the nearest 100 milliseconds you pay nothing when your function is idle And we can see it automatically is spin up and back down. Spin up and back down. There's the things of scalability. Here we're saving, we're checking the login on the stake driving login. So also one thing important, you avoid the lock-in with the open technology. You can see that the open open source function as a service framework to run functions across multiple environments and prevent lock-in the prevent lock-in avoid lock-in is very important i don't have any benchmark of any very big company that used it uh, here we go we are checking the you're, we are listening the log so you can see the payload you are listening and in the top is going to be reading that all of that Let's open the terminal back again. Open another sense shell instance. So, oh, that happens. Let's go over. We're going to change some stuff here. All right. And at NPM start. Today PubSub is not being friendly.
I will. You can do the prevent as a show. Take the test again. Let's see. Let's run that back again. Oh, that's good zoom get boot start. <laughs> All right, see the login. Functions are up. The editor is the thing is I'm gonna open the editor and check something. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.